Good day everyone, and this is the discovery of the endocrine system. From pineal gland, pituitary gland, parathyroid gland, thyroid gland, adrenal gland, pancreas, ovary, or testis, or end testis. This is the endocrine system. The endocrine system, along with the nervous system, works to regulate the movement of the body. The nervous system works through electrical impulses and neurotransmitters that induce the muscle contraction and glandular secretion. The endocrine system works by chemical messenger called hormones that influence growth, development, and metabolic activity. The endocrine system is responsible for regulating a range of bodily function through the release of hormones. Hormones are secreted by the glands of the endocrine system, traveling through the bloodstream to various organs and tissues in the body. The hormones then tell these organs and tissues what to do or how to function. And that's all. Thank you. The pineal gland releases melatonin that affects our wake sleep cycle. The pituitary gland, despite the, is, the, despite its small size, the pituitary is all, often called master gland. It makes many different hormones such as prolactin, oxytocin, th thyrotropin, and many more. The pituitary gland makes thyroid hormone, thyroxine, um, which controls the hormone at rate and burns cell fuels from food to make energy. The more thyroid hormone there is in the bloodstream, the faster chemical reactions happen to the body. Hypothalamus. It gathers information sensed by the brain, such as the surrounding temperature, light exposure, and feelings, and then sends it to the pituitary. Ordinal gland is the outer part of the ardenal cortex. It makes hormones called corticosteroids that help salt and water balance in the body. The body responds to, responds to stress, metabolism, the immune system, and sexual development and function. Meanwhile, the inner part is called our adrenal medulla. Which it makes catecholamines such as an epinephrine, also called adrenaline, Epinephrine increases blood pressure and health rate and heart rate when the body is under stress. Parathyroid. It releases the parathyroid hormones, which controls the level of calcium in the body with the help of calcitonin, which is that which the thyroid makes sense. The pancreas makes insulin and glucagon, which are hormones that control the level of glucose or sugar in the body, in the blood. Insulin, insulin helps keep the body supplied with stores of energy. Ovary and testis. Ovary was for female, locate, located in pelvis, and making eggs and secretes female hormones, estrogen and progesterone. And testis for male, located in the scrotum, and it secretes hormones called the androgens, and the most important, which is the testosterone. That's all. Good day, everyone. My name is Ephraim M. Saban, and today we are going to discuss the causes of endocrine disorders. Now, before we proceed to our lesson, let us review what is the function of the endocrine system. The endocrine system is responsible for regulating our body functions by releasing different types of hormones. This includes our sleeping and waking cycles, appetite, heart rate, metabolism, and other functions. Now, the endocrine system also 
has a feedback system. This feedback system sends signals to the proper gland or glands in correcting problems if there are cases in which there is too little or too much hormones that is being produced. Now, if the feedback system has problems, it could uh, result in the problems being unresolved. It causes imbalance in the number of hormones in our body. There are also other causes which includes tumors in one or more endocrine gland. Another one is a bodily infections that influences the hormones. A damaged endocrine gland can also cause disorders and in addition to that these disorders can be uh, pass on or it is hereditary these are the common or rather the causes of endocrine disorders good day everyone so my name is Priscilla Gaysa Martin from bscd one d my report is common endocrine disorders number one Adrenal influences. The ad adrenal glands release to little of the hormone cortisol and sometimes aldosterone. Symptoms include fatigue, stomach upset, dehydration, and skin change. Adrenal influences is the lack of hormone control and aldosterone causing the owner to the have fatigue. Upset stomach, skin change, and the and dehydration. Number two, gigantism and other grown hormone problems. If the pituitary glands produce too much grown hormone, a child bones and body parts may grown ab abnormally pass in grown hormone level are too low. A child can stop growing in a high. Meanwhile, gigantism is about too much hormone produced causing bones and body parts to grow abnormally fast. Number three, hyperthyroidism. The thyroid glands produce too much thyroid hormone leading to a loose pass heart rate, sweating, and nervousness. The also common cause for a uh, overtake thyroid in an automatic disorder called grape disease. Hyperthyroidism is about an overactive thyroid, for example, an autonomous disorder called grape disease. Number four, polycystic ovary syndrome, PCOS. Overproduction of androgens in interferes with the development of eggs in the release from the female ovaries. PCOS is a leading cause of infertility. Pol Polycystic ovary syndrome is the leading cause of infertility because of the interference of androgens. Number five, pre precocious poverty, abnormally early poverty that occur when gland tell the body to release sex hormone too soon in life. Precocious poverty is when poverty of a child arrives too soon and abnormally. Thank you. And this is the fun fact and trivia about the endocrine system. Endocrinology, or the study of endocrine system, has been studied for thousands of years by Chinese healers.
because the purpose of studying this is learning to extract hormones from urine to use for medical purposes. Next is hypothalamus produce hormones that will help to regulate how hungry or thirsty you are. And did you know that endocrine, that endocrine glands are all ductless? They secret hormones straight into the bloodstream. Next is the pituitary gland has been three, has a three lobes. They are posterior, the intermediate, and the anterior lobes. Next is the pancreas. Did you know the pancreas has the digestive function as well as endocrine functions? The endocrine portion releases the insulin and glucagon for blood regulations or for blood sugar regulations. Next is the other organs can perform endocrine function and release hormones even though they aren't considered part of the endocrine system. This organ includes the stomach, placenta, liver, and kidney. And that's all. Thank you.